Thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, after I do the show tonight, I have to uh, go to New York and uh, bye. She said bye so quick. <laughs> and uh, New, New York's where I started out, see, as a comedian. I started out four years ago in New York City. And uh, I'm going to tell you how I got my start. <laughs> And the trip thing, first off, I don't like going to New York because they're very superstitious in New York, you know? They think that if they let a black cat walk behind them at night, it's bad luck, see? <laughs> and, uh, no, that's true. Because my brother and I were walking behind this old couple one night. Boy, you know, we just mind our business. We're nice, you know? And they kept looking back over their shoulders, man, you know? And finally they stepped to the side and let us pass, you know? And my brother and I, we were so insulted, we just went on and robbed them, okay? <laughs> I used to go down to these little clubs, man, and to start out, I used to went down, went down to this club called The Bitter Inn, which was a small little club, see, with the dirtiest restroom I've ever seen, you know? They had a giant germ that would open the door for you, all right? You know? just stand there, hello, I'm V.D. Stapacoctus, come on in. I said, no, that's all right, it's okay. And, uh, the chip thing, man, was, uh, wouldn't nobody come out to see me? You know, I remember one night, I walked out on the stage, and there was about five people in the audience, see? So I said, hey, you know, what made you people come tonight? And they looked at each other, and they got up and left. See <laughs> it, man. I like, man, the thing is, you gotta be really good when you got a black audience, too, when you first start now, see? Because brothers will talk back to you, you know? That's right, you hear what I mean? See that? Right on, all right? I mean, you say something like, know what I mean? A brother yell out, no, I don't know what you mean, man. <laughs> Explain it to me, because I pay my money to understand everything. <laughs> Dig? I don't say nothing back, neither, Jack. So your brother jump up on the stage and put on a show going upside your head, you did? You get very good reviews, excellent reviews. I worked with the Temps and the Spinners one time, man, at the Apollo Theater. First, the Spinners came out, man, just tore up the place, man. Then they had the human sacrifice, which was me, all right? <laughs> You know, I came out on stage, man, there was nothing but pimps in the audience, Jack. They were all waking up, and they looked, hey, get off the stage, nigga, we don't want to see that stuff. Get on off, man. I said, well, you all can go to hell, then I walked off. <laughs> then they really got mad. Bring that little nigga back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it, man. I always play with singers, too or musicians. Mm. I did a show with Hugh Monster Kayla. You know, here I am on a music show, right? Black music, brother. You know? And I be traveling. Have you ever noticed they always put the uh, black stations at the end of the dial, no matter what city you're in? <laughs> 14 and 16, what? Just force you to be driving with one hand, trying to get that beat. Boom. Looking for that beat, sports news. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, trying to get James on the set, man. I like James Brown, man. All right. All right. James is a genius, boy. Took six words, made 50 songs out of them. <laughs> right. yeah, okay, I dig it. Very economical, you know. And he digs pain, too. James digs pain. I can dig it, man, because he be saying the same thing. Hit me! Hit me! Macy will use the whip. Good guy. <clears throat> James is cool, boy. He likes to save words and music. <laughs> Economical way to make records, Jack. We'll save them words and put them on another album. <laughs> yeah, boy, he'll put out one side of his music, man. One side of his record would be nothing but grunts. <clears throat> <clears throat> and next side, he won't grunt. He'll call that instrumental, dig it? <laughs> Part two. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. I hate, I hate to be listening to the blues singers on the radio. Those blues singers bring you down, man. Their lives are so pathetic. You wonder how they make it, you know? Why don't they just die, you feel like, you know? <laughs> Give up, brother, you be saying, you know? As if that, and they don't, they can't enunciate anymore, you know? I do a little tune, yeah, but, yeah, but. <laughs> you know? And they come on, man, they depress you, they come on. Boom, 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 boom. I got my butt kicked yesterday. <laughs> you know? 
Boom, 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 boom. I didn't know what to do. Boom, 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 boom. I looked over my old lady. She said, Jive, suck, I'll kick it too. Yeah, man. Hey, I want to thank y'all and good night.